Look here, man. My name is Lil Trail Trail, and I'm the little person that fight against a tall boxing committee champion. And also, I'm the founder of the organization called Lil People with Big Hearts Scooter Club Committee. And I ain't here to play no games with y'all. When it comes to little people riding a scooter, you gotta be careful. They make the handlebars too high up just to accommodate a tall. And, and that ain't right. Ex excuse me, Mr. Scooter Teacher, sir. I have a question. Yeah, what you want? What's a tall? A tall is a regular height person that walks up to the checkout line at Walmart, scrolling on their phone and not seeing that I'm in front of them in line. So they move up, but also end up hitting me in the back of the head with their nutsack. That'd be $35. Dang, man. Don't you see me standing here? Who's that talking to me? Oh, you down there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you, little guy. Sorry I hit you with my balls. There's never no girl that running to me in the back of the line. It's always a guy wearing sweatpants, and I'm tired of it, stupid talls. One day I'ma pay for that leg surgery to get regular people legs. Then I could finally go on a Batman ride at Six Flags. But anywho, like I was saying, riding these scooters as a little person ain't no small business. It's hard. You gotta have balance, okay? So first you gotta do a run and start, then the hop, and then you ride, okay? It's that simple. You wanna go first? I'll, I'll go first. All right, little homie. Remember this, this ain't no game. Make sure you grab the handlebars real tight and keep your balance. You gotta be able to balance on a straight line. Even after drinking three cups of Hennessy and the cops pull you over and you roll down your window and the cops say, hey, is that alcohol I smell? Okay, so are you sure you ready for that kind of balance? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, do a lap around this circle. If you can do one full lap, then you can join the Little People with Big Heart Scooter Rider Club Committee. Okay? Let me see what you got. Oh! It's Friday, 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 Friday night! It's the Deed That Man Show! And the man in the hour is D.Man. Thank you, thank you. My name is D.Dame and welcome to episode 20 of the D.Dame Show. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's live show or the repost. I appreciate it. Any way you tuned in. We did it, you guys. We made it to episode 20. Yes. I'm shocked myself. It hasn't been an easy ride, but it has definitely been a fun one. And I'm enjoying every second of it. So thank you to all the viewers because... You are the only motivation I have that keeps me creating and keep this show going. So thank you so much and please spread the word and subscribe if you are not already. With that being said, I know all the returning viewers are like, hmm, very upset right now. They are probably more upset than a fat man going to McDonald's to order a triple cheeseburger meal with the Oreo McFlurry and then the ice cream machine is down. I'm sorry. I know the returning viewers are mad because they want to see what's going on with old Richard and Bob. And I'm sorry, and you're right. Let's find out what's going on with old Richard and Bob. Oh wow, Richard was right. Groupon has some weird things on their site. But for $2.35, you can't beat it. I've never been to a bull taunting event before. This should be cool. Hey, they have refreshments. Look here, lady. I'm a retired vet that fought for this here country. What do you mean I can't taunt the bulls? I'll kick your... Hey, Richard, what's going on? This here lady said I can't be in the show. Well, sir, your ticket is from Groupon. And I'm sorry, but Groupon don't allow ticket purchasers like yourself to participate in a taunt. You can only watch from afar. What, lady? Look here, I'm a strong, brave American that fought for this here country. 
What do you mean, ticket purchasers like myself? What are you calling me, weak, ma'am? This is some bull. Well, sir, I was just saying that Groupon doesn't cover the insurance for just in case you get hit by a bull. Well, why not? Well, sir, it's Groupon. Yeah, well, you got a point. But we do offer a separate insurance package that you can purchase, then you'll be able to taunt the bull. Okay, well, how much is that? Um, to purchase the deluxe insurance package that covers up to five seconds of bull taunting will cost about, hold on, let me check. That'll be $35. What, lady, I'll kick your- Hey, Richard, look, the lady over there is taunting the bull. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, Richard, are you still going to pay the $35 for the 10-second insurance so you can taunt the bull, too? No way, Bob. Why would I pay $35 just to break my hip? Seems pretty stupid to me. Anyway, how about we get out of here and grab a beer and some oxtail and rice and peas to split? Yeah, let's do that. Welcome back to the D.Domain Show. Y'all enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself. Y'all enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself. Yes. How many people out there are married? Yes? That's good. That's great. Man, shout out to all the people that have been married for over 80 years. Yes, that's a long ride if you ask me. I wonder after death, can you escape your wife demands? Who knows? Well, at least this couple knows. Let's see what they found out. Look here, honey. We are getting a trailer, and that's it. I made up my decision, and I am the man of this house, so that means I'm the word of this house, and my word is my thoughts, and I'm thinking, woman, we need a trailer, so we are getting one. <laughs> Hell, I lived 80 years with you, woman, and then I died. I woke up, and you was dead too. So damn it, when I die, I still have to answer to you, Lord. Why this punishment? You are always over dramatic. <laughs> Hell, you think you're gonna die and be a ghost to have all this fun without me? Haha, <laughs> think again. Anyway, no, we're not getting a trailer. First, how are we gonna pull the trailer? We need a car. We are a ghost. How can we drive without the alive humans freaking out, let alone pull a trailer? Well, we can get a Tesla so we can look like it's driving itself. Okay, that's fine. But are you gonna buy it with your money, Roger? Um, well, you know my credit isn't that good right now. I was thinking you would put it on your card. Then no, we're not getting a Tesla. You better think of a new plan, Roger. I'm tired of you running up my card balance. You're not gonna keep putting me in more debt for eternity. Especially not for no damn trailer we don't need. Damn it, Shelly. Fine. I'll figure out something on my own. I'm still getting that trailer. Hmm. Yeah, just as long as you get that trailer, not me. You know I can't afford a trailer by myself. You know what? Never mind. I will figure it out on my own, Shelly. Okay. Man, I need to find a car to pull my trailer. But I'm a ghost, so I can't drive a regular car without causing a scene, and the live humans will call the cops and take my car and trailer, too. So I need an invisible car. But where can I find one of those? Hmm. A ghost car. Hmm. How about the cemetery? Perfect. Okay, dang it. I should have thought this one through. Only dead people are here. Not dead cars. Dang it. What am I going to do? Oh, wow, look at that. Do I see a man that just got buried with his car? Does that mean the car is dead, too? That must mean the car died with the owner, meaning that the car must be a ghost as well. Perfect. Let me just borrow this car for just a little while. I'll bring it back after eternity. I'll attach it to my trailer, and I should be completely invisible 
and mobile at the same time. Yes, I'm so smart. Wait till my wife sees this. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> she won't. I will be completely invisible. <laughs> Man, my IQ score is beyond these stupid alive humans reach. Yes, I'm a genius. Let me go try it out on my trailer. So, how many people out there hate being stuck in traffic? Yeah, me too. It's the worst feeling in the world, especially for me. My gas tank is rarely on full, so when I see traffic, I have to instantly look at my gas tank level and decide if I should just turn off the AC and the car every time I stop. <laughs> or I should just risk it and enjoy the blessing of man-made AC with the windows up. It's a very hard decision, but... My bank account quickly decides for me, so I slowly roll my windows down and pray for a nice cool breeze to flow through my car. <laughs> yeah, traffic sucks. Do you want to see how bad traffic sucks? Then let me show you my road rage. Man, come on now. All this traffic. You gotta go to work. Got to have all this nonsense. Come on now. Everybody get on my way, get on my way, get on my way. Everybody get on my way, get on my way, get on my way. I gotta turn left now. I gotta turn right. I gotta turn left now. out there like bargains or deals yeah that's good that's great well where's the best store to shop at for the best bargains and deals anyone know viewers at home feel free to jump in the comment section and tell me where's the best place to shop for bargains and deals but my first thought would be shopping from a crackhead yeah i don't know if i can say that on youtube nowadays so i'll just say dope fiend i don't know if i can say that either but huh you get my drift for those who don't understand, well, let me show you the best place to shop for a bargain and deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Glory be. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, you. You got some money? Yes, I do. Matter of fact, my job matches up to 4% of whatever I put inside my 401k. Man, life is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to buy a go-kart? Well, I am a pretty well-off Caucasian guy. Why not? You can never have too many assets. My son, Tanner, would love a go-kart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... How much are you selling it for, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Well-Off White Man, it depends on how much you got. Well, my Estro account has a dividend amount my father would be proud of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Well-Off White Man, 
I'll let you have this here go-kart for only $100. $100? Well, that's an investment I can't say no to. Okay, you have a deal, Mr. Crackhead. Here's $100. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where is it? Where is what? The go-kart I just paid you $100 for, damn it. Settle down, Mr. White Man. It's under this his sheet. It better be. And does it drive? Yeah, of course it drives. I've been driving around the city all year. Rain, sleet, or snow. Check it out. Woof. What the hell? That's a shopping cart. I want my money back. I pay for a go-kart. Hold on, wait. This here is a cart. That go. I've been riding it with no problems. I'm calling the police. Wait a minute. Let me show you how it works. During hurricane seasons, you get the best mileage. Look here. Welcome back to the D-Diamond Show. How many people out there are married? Yeah, that's good, that's great. Marriage is like a roller coaster ride. There's fun, smooth parts, then there's the scary loops and drops. <laughs> Seems like a fun ride when you first get on, but then after riding for a while, you look back and realize the person controlling the ride broke the switch and they just left the ride unattended. So the ride is, it never stops. <laughs> That's pretty much how marriage is, but I'm a fan of roller coasters, so I'm happy to ride all day long. <laughs> for those who don't like roller coasters, mm, then I'm sorry. But there's a married couple I know who don't like roller coasters too much. Let me show you. Dorothy! Dorothy! Where's my keys to my car? Dorothy! You're always hiding things from me. I'm, I'm sick or tired of this, Dorothy. <laughs> uh, I didn't hide your car keys, Alfonso. You don't have a car. I think your memory's going bad. <laughs> what, lady? My memory is going bad. My memory is not going bad. <laughs> the only thing that's getting old is the pot of milk you have that's hanging from the bags on your chest, Dorothy. <laughs> now, where's my keys? Well, Alfonso, the only thing that is hanging is your walnuts hanging from your tiny tree branch. <laughs> Dorothy, what are you talking about? We don't have any trees. Where's my car keys? Well, you don't have a car. You used to just walk everywhere. But since you got in your last accident, you haven't been able to walk much. Since you don't remember, uh, let me show you. <laughs> uh, what is all of this crap in the way? Uh, uh, don't go that way. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Alfonso, what is that on your head? <laughs> it's my going fishing toupee. Do you like it? <laughs> Never mind. Where's my keys? Well, the key to your mobile scooter is over there in the counter. The battery for your scooter is not full. It's only about, um, let me see. It's charged to about 35%. <laughs> see, woman, you never do what I tell you to do. What am I going to do now while I wait for my scooter to charge? Well, you can always stay home and play with me. I'd rather be stranded. <laughs> the sea isn't too far from here. I should be able to make it. What in the f***ing world is this? Holy shit. Dude is holding up traffic, towing a boat. <laughs> He's trying to get over. <laughs> Welcome back to the D Dominate Show. How many people out there have a sibling? Yeah, that's good. That's great. I grew up the only child, so I pretty much only fought with myself. But ever since I had my own two kids, I've noticed 
how they all they do is fight and bicker and try to get the other one in trouble. I always tell both of my sons, look, sons, nobody likes a hall monitor, okay? But they never get it. I guess they're too young to understand. But as I watch friends and family that have siblings, I notice that the rivalry never goes away. Adult siblings, they fight more in Bikram than my sons do. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you. Look here, Jerry. I've been better than you your whole life. I am the older brother, and I'm the best. It's just that simple. Screw you, Jim. Uh, you two stop arguing. You've two been going at it for well over, um, 35 years. You two are disturbing my peace. I'm trying to sunbathe. Sorry, mother. Sorry, mom. See, Jerry, you're always getting us in trouble, you little brat. Me? You're the one that's always trying to prove you're better than me. Well, that's because I am. It's not my fault I'm the cool big brother that you've always been trying to follow around for over 45 years now. When are you going to just admit that I am better than you? I would never admit that because you're not better than me, Jim. Yes, I am. Okay, then prove it. You see this inflatable one? Yeah. Okay, well, I bet you can't jump and land in the middle of the swan without tipping over. And why the hell do you think I would tip over? Well, look at you, Jim. What? <laughs> on my mother, on my hood, I look fly, I look good. Don't I look sexy, mother? Uh, Jim, uh, you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mother. Shut up, Jerry. Watch me do this easy jump. You better not mess it up for me on purpose. All right, on three. When I tell you to pull out a little, pull out a little. One, two, three. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fucking hesitated. I hesitated, it hurt my arm. I hurt my shoulder. Oh shit. I hesitated and I slipped. I, I, you know what? I should just. Welcome back to the D Dominic show. I'm sorry, bro. That's all the show we have for tonight. I want to thank everyone that watched this video to the very end. I really appreciate it. I know the D Dominic YouTube channel doesn't have a huge amount of subscribers, but we are slowly rising up to the first goal of 1,000 subscribers. So let's keep climbing this steep hill together. Please spread the word and like and comment and share and so we can reach that goal a little faster. But I'm here for the long run, God willing. With that being said, tonight's musical guest is no stranger to the show. So please give a big round of applause to Drum Mage performing his smash hit from the D.Mage 2020 collection, Playground. Thank you, God bless, and good night. See you next Friday. God will. Peace. So please do not provoke Please do not provoke Please, please, please do not provoke Cover up your eyes, girl Do not try to peek Listen with your mind, girl Tell me what you see Tell me what you see Tell me what you see Feel it with your body, girl Move it to the beat Like you twirling Spinning hula hooping in the street Let you hopscotch, double dutch Better pick your feet up Seesaw, make that go way up Slide down straight 
straight up like the seat stuck. Let me take you to the backyard, girl. Play inside your playground. Let me take you to the backyard, girl. Play inside your playground. Got you hanging from the monkey bars, right? Dripping down the slide. I see so I'ma let you ride. Let me take you to the backyard, girl. Play inside your playground.